Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So, guys, this this one we're just going to focus mostly on uh, the chaos with the war and the protests and things like that going on. Yesterday, over on Heart Zone, we did one that I really enjoyed. Uh, as you see, the event that changes reality forever. And talking about things, I mean, it, this just, to me, this is, this is so much fun to talk about these things. And what, what, do, what have we learned and what do we uh, share that's un uh, perhaps a unique perspective that you will not see anywhere else? And, and this is exactly that, talking about uh, things like the rapture or what exactly is the rapture and, and that flat earth phenomenon, do dome over earth, the Schumann resonance, bringing it all together from what we understand ourselves. That's right. You know, information that we get from some pretty interesting sources. Yeah. I mean, again, we we uh, don't just simply go off of what we see in the news. No, no, we don't trust anything that's in print. Uh, it, it's all about going through our own filters. Um, and then, of course, I'm going to put this up on evolutionary and then we're going to do one hopefully later in the day on EER. It's um, you know, again, time allowing. We did this one on Patreon. This was a Patreon only. Uh, the ground invasion has started or has it again. It's all about why do they time everything with Vedic astrology? It's because that's part of the programming of this universe and just understanding that uh, from a perspective that most people don't understand. So, pro-Palestinian protesters paralyze New York City's Grand Central Station. You know, it's really, really interesting to see the protests and the amount of people that get arrested at protests for peace. It, it really is. It feels disproportionate when you, when you have protests that are a little bit more aggressive and violent. They don't seem to get arrested like they do when they're protesting for peace. Uh, you know, this, this ended up with over 200 people arrested uh, during this protest in New York. And again, Grand Central uh, train station is a very historical spot. You know, my mom used to get always so excited when we'd roll into Grand Central because we used to go down and, and, you know, certain times of the year we would go visit New York City, notably at Christmas time, you know, all the lights and, and the, you know, the energy and stuff. And we'd roll into Grand Central and it was just so many movies had been filmed there. So much history there. And yeah, it was shut down by the protests, which is, you know, again, a, a in my mind, it's a good thing. We got to tell the system, no, you know, this is ridiculous. We can see what's going on here. And here is in London. Look at the size of this. Stop the genocide. Stop the murder. Because the system, it kills people wantingly. It, it's just, it, we're waking up to the point where it's beyond ridiculous. We could see, so many of us can see through. Um, the hatred that they try to get us to take one side and then when you take that one side you're blind to the atrocities that the side that you pick is is doing because both sides are doing atrocious things we should you know never have this wanton death and destruction and you know as you progress in your spiritual uh, work your true spiritual work because you know so many things are labeled spiritual, but they're not. They have nothing to do with spirituality, zero to do with spirituality. And yet, you know, this world makes it out to be something that's spiritual when it's really all about death and destruction and division. It is. It's, it's difficult and it's sad, but so many times they put in policies and procedures. That's their favorite game to play. Make sure that those lines and those outlines are there so that uh, anyone who steps out of those lines, they're going to be recognized by others and they're going to be criticized and they're going to be ridiculed and in many cases even shunned from their own family because, because they've decided to look at something different, something other than what the mainstream has offered as far as religion, as far as science, as far as education, you know, as far as the monetary system. And it's just so, so sad how people shun 
one another because they're afraid of change. They're afraid of something different, but we are definitely, as humans, we are moving past that. So it's an exciting time. It is, it is an exciting time, and, and we are watching the death throes uh, of a system uh, that's controlling the entirety of the planet, because it is controlling the entirety of the planet through its division and through its nonstop warfare, nonstop death and destruction. You know, you have to call it for what it is. Now, you know, again, there are those that want to just go la, 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 la. It's not happening. You know, I don't see the bombs, you know, but yet people are dying. And, and you, you, can you feel them? Last night was it was bothering me a ton. And, you know, did another round of, of mantras and, and it feels like you could sense uh, the death out there, the destruction out there. I, you, know, you could just feel the heaviness, and, and Cindy was commenting on that as well. As we look at, uh, this is Turkey, Erdogan uh, went to this uh, particular protest. Again, Turkey is a, a very, very key country because it is a land bridge into Europe. And Erdogan does have you know these visions of uniting all of Islam in a more um, modern way, perhaps you might you might view it as opposed to uh, some other forces that do also want to unify Islam. Ultimately, we understand they want to unify everybody under one system. And it would be a topic for a, a new video to go into that quote-unquote Luciferian religion and again it's it's just the way they use words because you know Lucifer again uh, that's that's again a mistranslation uh, just from one place in the entirety of you know the Old Testament the, and the New Testament there's only one place just one place in the book of Isaiah and it's a mistranslation but yet boy has it gripped us and and automatically people think lucifer so you know if you want to name the ai dragon lucifer i guess you could um <clears throat> you know again to each his own right well you know lucifer light bringer you know but it's taken on a life of its own it's taken false on light, yeah. a false a false light so those All are it could do is reflect light you know it that's can that's true that's very very true that's a good way of looking at it so it can mirror things but it has no original um essence of its own and talk about mirroring well how about the lunar eclipse last night when you talk about that and the fact that the moon was brought here by them by by the control grid what does the moon do it just reflects light so we had that eclipse of of the moon last night too with these oh, energies God. and cindy could feel it Oh, it was horrible. It was horrible. A horrible night. I mean, the worst night I've had in I don't know how many years. I absolutely could not find that cozy place where we all drift off to sleep. And then when I did, I had to get up to go pee. <laughs> it was just a nightmare. And it just kept going on and on for hours and hours and hours. I would lay there just totally wide awake. Like I, I was buzzing off of, off of a, a, a pint of coffee or something. I mean, it was ridiculous. And then all I kept thinking was, I know this is the moon. I know this is the moon. I know this is the moon. I mean, talk about being trapped in my own purgatory because I knew there was something that they were radiating across everyone and everything. And they were also sending out messages to really make people angry because I could feel that underlying too. I'm like, they're, they're really um, ticking people off right now. People who are already on the edge are going to feel this energy and it's going to throw them over the edge so just know and please 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 keep in mind that sometimes we might think things and they just they're so out of our personality and we think wow where did that come from remember that because that most likely did not come from you and don't take it on yourself understand they are sending frequencies and energies through the air just like wi-fi sends packets of information i mean we pick up on that and then we feel that a lot of times this anger and rage it's absolutely not yours so don't take it on don't act on it because this is what they're trying to do so desperately to get people to just completely freak out yeah so you know here you're looking at video of the IDF ground forces in the Gaza Strip as, yeah, they did start rolling in. They didn't call it an official launching of the ground invasion, 
Uh, yet, you know, they did call it an expansion of operations, and so much is just semantics. You know, they're just semantics. But the reality is, the the bombing that happened, uh, you know, over like the last twelve hours or so is more intense than anything we've seen and also ground forces going in and and we could feel it you know i mean i could feel it um last night in meditation absolutely could feel it as you see uh footage of fighter jets invo- involved in last night's massive bombardment you know they say hamas targets in gaza but w- what is this this is this is a dense urban sprawl i mean this is one of the most densely populated places on the earth you know you you could say it's like trying to hit military targets that are embedded in brooklyn or embedded in the bronx i mean that's that's what this is like it it's just packed with people packed with people and Egypt warns of repercussions as it accuses israel of violating un resolution regarding gaza all this is is all about one thing and this is all about inciting people to remember gaza just as you may here in texas remember the alamo and you know that is a phrase that probably every single texan has heard of remember the alamo well there will be people saying remember gaza or for gaza when they're doing atrocities in the NATO countries. This is, again, part of pitting humans against humans. All those illegal migrants that are in so many NATO countries, they're getting angered. They're getting irritated. This is being purposefully used to incite those people to commit acts of atrocity, and that's why they're there in the first place. Oh, it's it's so sad. And and then again, you know, I can't point out this um, lunar eclipse enough and understanding that it does leave a blank spot in the mind for another energy to come in and take over very much like puppeting. And, and this is exactly what they were doing last night. They were sending a frequency over to create war and to create hatred and to create disdain. Um, not a good time. And I, I guess the reason for, for us to point this out is so that people don't act on it. Do not act on these energies if you are feeling them. Find the peace. Cultivate the peace. Push back with peace because that's so, it's such a stronger force than anything. And it's something that we can all, you know, live with. <laughs> we can live with each other if we're all cultivating peace. So this is from Palestinian Islamic Jihad saying that all Israel gained was not not even 100 meters uh, during all this massive bombardment and exchange going on because they're dug in and, you know, there was uh, bunker busters used. These are exceedingly powerful bombs that, that literally penetrate hundreds of feet into the ground. Reports that 5,000 U.S. soldiers participated in this ground operation against Gaza. Why did the U.S. vote against a peace resolution? It's simply because they, they want the world pissed off enough at the U.S. that you know they're going to commit atrocities against U.S. and other NATO nation citizens uh, when those sleeper cells are turned on. Now, I don't know, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't hope I don't blow the video too much, but last night you, you showed a video of a, a place in the south where yeah, there was people, here. you do have that, good, because that was really scary, that gave me chills. <clears throat> yeah, and this is the thing to remember, uh, again, this is another photo, now the Eisenhower a week ago was supposedly have had made it into the Mediterranean, and this is showing right past uh, Europa Point off of Gibraltar, which is the entrance. So did it just stay there? Because the reports were it was going to be out in the Atlantic. Um, You know, what's really going on again? It's fascinating to see uh, Alloway, Zermiler, and Nostradamus both talked about a fleet um, in the Mediterranean that's in peril uh, when the war goes off, when WW3 goes off. Elon announces Starlink will support connectivity internationally recognized aid organizations in Gaza uh, to those uh, organizations. So, oh, wow, look at AOC talking to Elon again. Oh, that was funny yesterday. 
that was a real good one. And this is what she's referencing. Um, you know, this this gentleman um, is going through his his neighborhood, and and this is in Georgia. This is you know so typical of so many smaller towns, uh, city, very small cities in the south. And he's just noticing these people that are, they're not from here. They're not even speaking English. They can't even understand English uh, is, is part of what he's, he's getting to. I, d I don't want to use his language because he's swearing, you know. So he encounters this guy. Um, and again, these, these are migrants that are being seeded into the smaller towns all throughout the country, smaller towns. It's so obvious. This is an infiltration taking place that are going to be turned on and they're going to be armed. Again, you know, are they going to be armed with uh, maybe some of those guns that are you know, earmarked for the IRS? Because in reality, you know, they're working for the same agencies, the same entities. The alphabet soups do not work for us. They never have, never have. And when you look at all the money that's been spent in the military of the U.S., which is, is 10 times that, that Russia spends, it's because the U.S. was designated as, as a power structure's military policing force. Now that's going to China. When you looked at those DEA, GEL numbers, can we now see how those are going to come about? Uh, how in the world could you lose, you know, 50 million people from the UK in the blink of an eye? Well, you know, again, Alois Ermeiler talked of uh, those tsunami bombs being detonated. And, and that could certainly do uh, that type of damage. But it's also all these people that are already in place uh, that are going to be armed and, and, and attacking the citizens of the UK, the US, uh, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and so many other countries. These are young Moroccan migrants interviewed in, in Spain. Why are they there? These are all kids of draft age. And, you know, they're just saying long live Hamas. Hamas is not a terrorist organization. It's a movement of national liberation. So they are here to liberate uh, the NATO countries from their current leadership. The question is, what's going to happen when they're turned on? And again, this is why uh, you, you, it's not good to be in the cities and, and even out in the countryside. When they're putting these people in towns that only have maybe 30,000 people in them, uh, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's, that's going to be challenging wherever we are. But still, the cities are going to be absolutely chaotic. And the bigger cities, uh, the bigger targets. This is very telling. The U.S. has halted exports of most civilian firearms and ammunition for all non-governmental users for 90 days. This tells you war is here. Global war is here. You never saw this you know, uh, uh, happen other than in times of a world war. And is this holy? Heck no. There is nothing holy about the Vatican. Nothing. I mean, this depiction of Yeshua, this looks perfectly demonic with all sorts of, you know, shades of hell behind it because it is. They are so demonic. This is as dark as dark gets. And yet one billion plus people profess to be Catholic. I was born into a Catholic family, you know, and, and again, so many of us are born into things. If we're born into something and we never question it, we're setting ourselves up for a fall. A lot of people really just take the spoon feeding from these um, TV evangelicist people. They, they just sit and they listen to them and they take their word for whatever they're hearing out of the Bible. And because there might be some really cool sayings or they might say some, you know, pull some nuggets of wisdom out of the Bible. They believe that the Bible is, you know, just the inherent word of God because that sure sounded good. But when you actually study it for yourself and you look at the words and you find the sources, that's where it gets, um, that's where you find the truth. 
Yeah, as we look at something that Cindy says does have a feeling of being some sort of intelligence, this was over in uh, Florida, northern Florida. And sources with this video were saying that they thought that be, that the military was literally shooting missiles at it. I think, you know, again, you're going to see a lot of CGI, etc. Um, but this feels to be something that might be more authentic. Um, again, we're being watched by so many beings right now. They, they're, they're just watching us intently wondering when are the people of this planet going to wake up when are they going to figure this out you know because it, you know to so many entities it's kind of perplexing how we haven't figured out more already it is it is and, and when you watch this and you feel it at least that's what i felt it felt like a pleasant little energy that was kind of checking things out and and then you got cute bunnies i mean who doesn't want a cute bunny to to uh Help them with their cell phone. I mean, this guy is pretty smart. He knows what's going on. He says, get that cell phone away from you. Yeah, and again, I want to share with you guys, you know, I, I've i done a lot of hard work and I've done a lot of things that have abused my, my hands throughout the years. And I was developing um, real bad arthritis coming in into my hands and it's just like totally gone now. It's completely gone through two things. Uh, stopping using my 5G phone. I haven't even turned it on in a week. Um, so we, we don't use my phone at, at all. And that was what was really aggravating it was the phone. And then we do ozone. And we do ozone daily. And that's totally rejuvenating us. Because part of the problem is m most people we're not getting enough um, oxygen we're, we're not getting enough oxygen we're being overwhelmed with toxins and you know th the feelings of arthritis that were settling into my hands are totally gone totally gone it, it's just amazing and and the number one culprit that was aggravating it was my phone and and the number one cure really has been taking the phone away because uh, Cindy is the only one. She has a 4G phone, um, and and for the most part, I, I I don't even look at the phones really anymore at all. And and I'm mentally prepared for the day when the technology goes bye bye. While we're able to talk to you guys and do these videos, we will do these videos. I do see there is a time. If we are to make it safely through this time when we're talking to small groups of people in person that have had visions of that because, you know, we, we are no longer doing things that the rest of the world is might be doing in those cities because we won't be in one of those uh, smart cities uh, and we wouldn't go into one no matter what uh, because, again, that is going to be slavery. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it does seem like, and it, it is really curious, my, my phone was like the last 4G that we could find, and, and the 4G phone and the, the, the Apple tablet doesn't seem to hurt him. He can actually use those things. Um, but what I, the other interesting thing was is after uh, he put down that 5G and we started doing ozone, it did take a couple few months for the arthritis to work its way out of the joints. It took time and I couldn't imagine if uh, we didn't have the ozone, how much longer that would have taken. And, and to me, that shows that the EMFs are far worse than what we think that they might be. And there is a couple of experiments that I've been wanting to do with a 5G phone and I'm going to try it and maybe videotape it but uh that ozone has really helped oxygenate our bodies and help heal our bodies in ways that um even if you're using the best of wim hof's uh you know methods <laughs> i don't think you could get enough oxygen in your body and and push out the emf the way that we have done over the last couple of months yeah, absolutely. And and while we don't like to um, sell anything per se, uh, we did put a link. So if you go into the body of any vi any video, there is a link to Promo Life. That's the company that we we decided to use from Arkansas. So it, it's it's <clears throat> you know a, a real good company. Just sharing it with you guys because the guides wanted us to make sure we had this machine uh, and this ability through these times. 
as you know obviously we are under attack uh, with the skies the air the food the water everything as always much love source bless and namaste namaste